We're in the lobby of the new Nininger Hall, which was renovated in 2014. This is one of two areas in the building with a number of photos and facts and figures highlighting some of the history of Bridgewater Athletics. Nininger Gym received some improvements during that 2014 renovation, including the walls behind the baskets and chair back seating on one side of the court. New championship banners have also been put in. We're in the Nininger Hall of Fame hallway with a wall that includes features of over 100 years of intercollegiate athletics here at Bridgewater College. Also featured here is a president suite for meeting space and a kiosk, which includes information on all of our teams and each of our Hall of Fame members. Now we're in the athletic training room here at Bridgewater. The college has added a master's degree in athletic training, the first master's program for the college, but Bridgewater has since added several more. The Athletics Media Room in Nininger is one of several meeting spaces in the building where programs can do film study or other team meetings. Jobson Athletic Complex is home to our football, field hockey, and lacrosse teams, as well as track and field. The facility seats 3,500 spectators. It was named in 1971 after legendary Bridgewater coach Dr. Harry Jobson. A new field turf surface has also recently been installed. The Michael and Sharon Clark scoreboard was put in in the fall of 2019 includes a new video board which really adds to the game day presentation here at Bridgewater College. The Bridgewater baseball field has recently received a number of improvements, including a new press box, the hitting facility, and the champion's wall behind me. Bridgewater baseball has made more NCAA appearances and won more conference championships than any team in ODAC history. We're in the Ralph Shively hitting facility, which is truly a rarity in Division III athletics. This building is 130 feet long. It's used by our baseball and softball programs with batting cages up to 70 feet and indoor pitching mounds, but also other teams such as golf who want to have an indoor space to work out in the winter. Folk Field, used by Bridgewater Softball, was originally built in 1996, but has since undergone renovations, including the press box, bleachers, dugouts, and warning tracks. It's named after Donnie Folk, the former Bridgewater College softball head coach. The Bridgewater College soccer field includes a Bermuda grass playing surface and seating for over 200 spectators. Our soccer teams also have Bermuda grass fields on the other side of campus to use as practice space. Bowman Hall Plaza overlooks the Jobson Athletic Complex and connects several other important buildings on campus, including Nininger Hall. Another building on Bowman Plaza is Memorial Hall and the Memorial Hall Bell. Teams traditionally ring the bell after a win to notify the campus of another Eagles victory. The Mapp tennis courts were renamed after legendary Bridgewater coach and Hall of Famer Laura Mapp. They include windscreens and a crimson and gold court painted design. 